Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Batwoman. And the reason why I want to talk about Batwoman because Batwoman is showing his ass. And the reason why I want to bring that up is because Batwoman should be a cautionary tale to WB and Marvel at you just can't replace main characters for other characters and think that you can just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? It comes down to, especially in Hollywood or whatever, if the main character of the show walks away, either cancel it or recast the main character. You might lose a few people. You might not. But you need to make a choice. But what's happening is, you guys think that you can replace the actual main character for a stand-in and be like, now this is the new Batwoman. This is the new Black Panther. This is the new Iron Man. This is the new Superman or whatever. And people are showing you they don't want that character. They don't want this replacement that you're trying to give because it's not a good build-up to that character. And that's why I'm concerned about these upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the the Black Superman movie, the Ironheart, the Hawkeye show, because you're trying to replace classical main characters for these brand new diversity higher characters or just trying to race swap them or gender swap them and think that you can just do the same thing. Oh, well, you know, it's a it's sort of the same character just portrayed by somebody different. That could have worked if you had done it right, but you're not doing it right. At this point, all of these changes seem more out of spite and contempt to the audience more so than actual storytelling. Because Let's be honest, this shows you that you can't take a white character from a main show and t um, take them out and put in a diversity character and be like, now they're the new whatever character because they people showed you that it didn't work. And of course, you know, you're going to have people be like, well, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yes. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a good movie, but what, what did it do? It introduced the fact that Peter Parker was Spider-Man in that universe. He died. Miles Morales took up his place because he also got bitten by Spider-Man, and the city needed a Spider-Man, and he was inspired by alternate reality Spider-People that you have to be Spider-Man because Peter Parker is not Spider-Man anymore because he died. That story is well done, but when you're talking about Batwoman or Black Superman or not even acknowledging or killing the main character off screen just to replace the character, it comes off like, mm, what are we doing? And again, I'm not saying that you can't do certain things, but... The way that these writers and these people that talk about these characters that are in charge of these characters always want to put down the old character for these brand new characters and saying how they're better or now here's the real character or whatever or finally this happened or whatever and stuff like that. It's kind of like, uh, who are you trying to convince yourself or the audience? Because again, the audience can smell bull crap. A mile a minute and that is a concern that is a definite concern like uh, for instance you know um, China and McLean left uh, Black Lightning right so they got a new actress in there because they couldn't well kill off the character there are plenty of people that were watching the show was like well I'm not gonna watch anymore because the main um, because China and McLean wasn't there so at at some point either you have to admit that you didn't care about the character and you cared about the actress because the same the same thing that I was hearing about China and McLean's replacement is the same thing I'm hearing about Black Panther. Well, if they recast them, then 
blase, 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 whatever, or you can't recast him because Chadwick Boseman is the Black Panther. So either you cared about the actor or you care about the character because at some point you're going to have to meet in the middle, but disregarding a character because the actor died or the actor left the show doesn't or the movie too doesn't help like if the main care like let's say for instance excuse me if christopher reeves had died after superman one god forbid you know rest in peace christopher reeves you would guess what they're going to do because they already signed on for spider-man i mean for um superman two and three they are going to have to recast him you can't just not either you recast him or you cancel the franchise but again there were going there's going to be more superman movies after that you know so let's rip the band-aid off you know and i think the new actress like let's go back to black lightning the new actress you know, she stepped in and played the character. You know, I understand that it's a jarring, you know, characterization or whatever and, and stuff like that. And, you know, the show did it in a twistful way or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. You, We got to do something. We can't kill off a predominant character in a show just because the actor is gone or don't want to recast. I mean, don't want to, you know do do the role anymore same thing with the whole kate kane thing you should have just recast her with wallace day in the beginning who actually came to cw and said that if ruby rose leave the show let me step in and i can be the new kate kane they said they weren't going to do it but then they brought it they they wanted to go a different route by bringing in this diversity higher character uh, jaficia leslie to play ryan wilder only to bring back wallace day as kate kane why didn't you just do that in the first place? Because what you thought you was going to do, you thought you were going to push a narrative. You thought you was going to push this whole diversity thing and be like, look how important and, and, and magical this is for everybody. Yeah, sure. But your audience left out. So, yes, you have people online on the Internet. They're always talking, cheering things on or whatever. But they're not watching the show. They're not supporting the show. So... It's always funny when I see people always cheering about this kind, of, these kind of nonsense or whatever. But it's just like at the end of the day, you don't care about these characters. You only care about the virtue signal. Because if you did care about these characters, you would be watching. And I'm not saying that some of them don't watch, but the ratings are plummeting. So it makes you wonder where all of this stuff is going to come. Because I, I really do believe that Black Panther. And the, the Black Superman, um, when they happen, I do believe they're going to flop. And I'm not saying flop as like a disaster disaster at the box office. What I'm saying is they're going to flop so hard with the audience that Marvel and DC is going to try to come up with some kind of excuses and trying to find, find a way out of that or not take responsibility and try to put it out on us as the audience members, as the fans. And it's just like, no, we told you what we didn't want. You still did it anyway. Now you have to kind of take the responsibility. Because to me, I don't care what nobody said. I think Marvel's trying to milk the hell out of Chadwick Boseman's death to, as the excuse of not recasting. Which, to be honest, I really do hope the rumors are true that they are recasting Black Panther. Because they should recast Black Panther. The character's been around for almost 80 years. T'Challa. T'Challa will be here before. T'Challa was here before. And he will be here after all of us pass away. And before uh, uh, half of us was born. So it is what it is. I'm sorry that people don't like it. But I've been seeing this whole force diversity thing. And they think that they, if they can replace the white characters and put in diversity... Especially if they can put in a character that's diverse and part of the LGBT community, it works. And I'm just telling you, it doesn't work. We've seen the evidence. And it gets me worried that Batwoman is literally showing you it doesn't work. 
that people want to see the character and a lot of people said just had recast the character and it worries me that instead of recasting the character you're literally trying to push that diversity narrative virtue signal and stuff like that and that is a concern because like i said with the black panther movie coming up without t'challa at all without um the the black superman coming and stuff like that it, it just gets me wondering like this is literally showing you that the audience don't want it and it's concerning that we're still going to push it still your audience is literally telling you hey we don't want this stuff hey recast the character because i've also noticed that i saw some posts um about people pushing the MCU to bring back Tony Stark. See, and at first I thought it was a, a joke. I didn't know that this was something for real, but it has been pop ups of people wanting the, the Marvel studio to bring back Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man or just Iron Man, Tony Stark in general. And for me, like I said before, um, I don't know um, if I mentioned it. I know I mentioned it in a few videos before, but. It's time to start thinking about recasting these characters, not replacing them with diversity, but recasting them. Steve Rogers, Iron Man needs to start. Be think it needs to it needs to be a brainstorm of, hey, let's start recasting these characters. Get people that looks close to Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. Get somebody that looks close to Chadwick Boseman. Get someone that looks like whatever actor or actress you need. But let's start recasting these characters instead of killing them off or trying to replace them for diversity, quote unquote, better than the original. Because it just doesn't work and we're seeing it. We're seeing it. That is a problem that is concerning as a person who watches the the shows the movies and read the comic books that it's becoming concerning when you're trying to push up these diverse characters but also trying to destroy the original characters and trying to say the best one they're better or whatever stuff like that i don't know i'm 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 not saying that you can't bring in diverse characters to take up the legacy but you have to do it in a respectful way. Like, think about it for a minute with the whole Tony Stark Iron Man thing. You want to bring in Riri Williams, right? But you you didn't bring in Riri Williams to be like a supporting character in Iron Man movies or a significant character where Iron Man saved her or made an impression on her in the story. Like, you never built her up. So her coming out of nowhere... And saying that, oh, Tony Stark, Iron Man is ins inspirational. Or her stealing his, going into his his um company, taking old armor pieces because she is a genius. And she, quote unquote, hacked into, you know, wherever and got scraps of, of ar uh, Iron Man armor or whatever because of, some, um, of his um, schematics or on the internet or whatever. And, you know, got an Iron Man suit or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out, like, how is that? inspirational for that character now oh and then of course you got people like now she's the new and improved iron man or she's better than tony stark will ever be because she's a 15 year old black girl that's a a super genius but tony stark still can out genius her and um wrap around circles with her but okay sure but you want her to be inspirational come on now that is that's crazy or how ryan wilder is the true batwoman or whatever and stuff like that because you know she's black and and, and and gay okay kate kane was white and gay that didn't mean nothing then but kate had a following kate had history on her ryan wilders don't you didn't introduce ryan in the first season to build up that thing so if kate had disappeared or left you would have already had transition. You have to start laying down the foundation of these characters. The same thing with T'Challa, um, Black Panther. You introduced him into in Civil War. You had him had a solo movie. 
Then in Infinity War, you had him fight. Then you killed him in Infinity War. Then you brought him back in Endgame. Now you're going to kill him off screen. You're going to kill him off screen for before we get to Black Panther 2. That makes no logical sense. And not to mention the fact that if you did kill him off, you really trying to tell me that in Winter Soldier, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the door and Milaje didn't mention that to Bucky, who they clearly have a connection with. That would have been something to drop the hints on or whatever. At least if you're going to drop the hint or at least if you're going to establish this, you need to start laying down the foundations and seeds for these characters. I'm not saying that you couldn't do this, but you have to do it in an organic story manner. But just replacing the character or casting them aside and ignoring the fact that they ever had a relevance doesn't do anything. All it does is harm the show, the characters, the audience is just over it. Because like I said, audience can smell bull crap a mile away. So I don't know. I'm just throwing out these ideas, but... It just gets me wondering, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Because, I mean, I, again, as a person that likes characters or whatever, I want characters to succeed. I want black characters to succeed. I want gay characters to succeed. I want Asian, Latino characters to succeed. But you have to do it in an organic manner. You can't have them come out of nowhere and just push aside the hero the original hero and be like because I'm black or because I'm Asian or because I'm Latino or because I'm gay I'm better than the original because they were straight and white or they were just male or they were white in general you know it's kind of crazy and I just really want Hollywood to really think about what made these characters success a long time ago because you 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 got to do something but you can't go this route where you you want the glory but you don't want to work for it we got to work for stuff you know as sad as it is to say sometimes i get annoyed with myself with things in my life because i feel like oh i wish it would just happen like that but i know i have to work for it so i have to work for it you know as, as much as sometimes i don't want to because sometimes I lack, sometimes my motivation gets lax and it wanes sometimes as well. But I know that it's, it's human growth, it's human change. You have to do that kind of stuff. You can't just throw things out there and hope for the best, you know. Sometimes it takes a little bit of luck, but you know, it takes an awful lot of skill and perse perseverance. But that's all I'm saying, you know, tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.